Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Building More Than Just a Body. I'm Celeste, and of course, I'm here for part two with Steve. So I'm really excited. I know he's excited. We've been waiting for this, and um, we're kind of just giving it some time before people jump on. So what's up, Steve? <laughs> what's up? What's up? We're just hanging around here, just like having a chat, seeing if anyone shows up, because that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, like- we do. <laughs> Greens and stuff going on everywhere here, which is awesome. Um, nah, not much is going up. I wanted to go for a walk this morning, like I said the year before, but it's raining here, like intense rain, so I had to walk around my room for half an hour talking to myself. Oh, what? Have you lost it? And there goes Celeste. You there still? I've lost the sound. <laughs> I can't hear you. This is an awesome start. I'm going to talk to myself. <laughs> oh. You're on mute, Celeste. You there? Not working. <laughs> well, this is awesome. I love technology. Can you hear me? I have nothing. This is a great start. <laughs> I hear you now. Can you hear oh, me now? Yes. <laughs> Back. We got it. We got oh, it. I don't know what was going on there. Hello to you guys on the live feed. That would have been fun. <laughs> Yeah, no, I had I had like eight viewers and then it just started dropping. I was like, okay, well, whatever. Um, what, what were you talking about? Because you were rattling away. Were you talking to the viewers about me? Yeah, I was saying like that you're horrible. No, I was saying like right. that we couldn't figure out the thing. And because <laughs> my, my Google Hangouts for some reason doesn't allow the volume that you are bringing to come out of the computer. I can only hear it with headphones. Ah. So they can't hear what you're saying. So I'm. I was trying to figure out how I could fix that, but yeah, I'll be able to. So but they can so hear me now. Can, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think they can hear you now, actually, because I have my headphones in the computer, so I can hear you, but, but they, they can't. can't. Uh uh-uh. oh. All right. What do you want so, me to do to fix that problem? Nothing. Just give me a sec. Okay. This is cool. I'm going to talk to the live camera here. Hello, everyone that's on there. Oh, oh, she's on there. Ah! Comes back. Oh, she screamed. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I know you guys on the live can hear. You're breaking up. I hear you. Can you- yeah, you're there. You're breaking up a little bit. Okay, but you can hear me, right? Yep, yep. Okay, yes, now they can hear you. I can hear you. You can hear me. This is beautiful. Awesome, awesome. We've got Rob, <laughs> Paul, and Jeff on the live feed. How are you guys? Thank you for jumping on. 
we're just like playing with computers here at the moment. This has been the most awesome five minutes start to um, a, it's not even an interview, just a chat. <laughs> it's been yeah, it's cool. been interesting the beginning, that's for sure. And, and uh, to everybody watching mine, hello, hello, welcome, and I'm really excited for today, and it's going to be a good one. So um, Steve has some questions for me, he said, and so I'm curious to hear them and answer them, and then we're going to just flow from there and see what we end up leading to, but we have some valuable information to share with you guys, so we're really excited. So Steve, ask away, get this ball rolling. Oh, I've got all these amazing, amazing questions that I'm just going to smash you with that you don't know what I'm going to bring at you too, which is cool. I told you a couple of them, but I might surprise you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know that exactly, so we'll see. No, we've been talking a fair bit about like balancing life and all that sort of stuff, and we, we touched on it the other day. What, what have you been doing to like create balance in your life, like the areas you've been working on? Um, like, because with what we do in helping others, like, create balance or, or get get their health goals or fitness goals or, or whatever it else is in life. We've got to have ours in check too. That's really important um, because I know sometimes that if we let ourselves go because we're worrying about everyone else and getting themselves right, we can we can drop off in certain areas. So I want to know how you've been creating balance and working on the areas you need to work on the most. Yeah, so in order to create balance in my life during this competition prep and any competition prep, it's really just about uh, listening to my body the most and listening to what I want to do. So competition prep, I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to lie and say it's like super easy. I'm coming off of a bulk, so I've been, it's been not as strict as my first contest prep, but it's about to be because now that my ending my bulk and merging into this competition prep, is coming to an end, now it's just straight up competition prep. So last time I, I did it, to create balance, I just made the most fun out of what I was doing because I seriously enjoy it and I really want to do it. There's some awesome lessons and fun to be had, which is you. At least I really believe that. And so the main thing is just paying attention to the people around me, seeing how it affects them and trying not to allow it to control my life. Although in bringing my meals places or having a different dinner than the family or whatever it might be, it's still it's still so important to me that you can make it work. And that kind of leads me to touch on what you asked, which was how do you do this even when you're helping all these people? How do you encourage that? So the way that I encourage this is, of course, by just making sure that you do what's, what's best for you and what you want to do. There's nothing wrong with, at least in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with bringing your own dinner to the table. Not that you have to in order to achieve your goals. That's, you know, your environment's going to support you if it's the right environment for you. And if they don't support you, then consider getting a new environment. Yeah, environment's huge, eh? You sound like your, your um, voice is crackling up through the computer there a fair bit. I got most of it. I don't know if you guys over there got it, but yeah, what you finished on there, environment is massive and it's not just environment like home environment and that. It's social media world, it's where you train at your gyms, it's everything around you. Um, and that, that has a massive makes a massive difference on where you're at and where you want to go, especially if you're growing and 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 doing all these this self growth and all that sort of stuff. If you're in an environment that doesn't allow that, um, then you really do get held back and and you get frustrated actually sometimes. Like I've, I've lived through this like majorly environment for me has been massive. That's why I'm still here in Bali actually because I don't want to leave because this environment, the people I'm around that are growing, continually growing and learning and I'm the same because I'm on the same sort, of, same sort of path. But I know back in my other environment where people around me have got a very small vision of the world or their, their model of the world is very different. They're short-sighted about what they're doing or and they don't understand if, even if you, you, you talk around them or speak around them about making an impact or you're on a mission, they look at you like, what do you mean? That, 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 that's the thing. With environment, um, you've got to continually look for that environment that sort of suits where you're at. So I'm glad you brought that up. It's, a super yeah, I mean, it's very, very powerful and definitely something like you said, like you're doing it yourself every single day. So to anybody who's on my life, he, he basically is in this amazing place with amazing people, including himself. And 
he decided he wasn't going to leave because he knew that this environment was serving him better than something at home would be doing. So he chose to stay because he has this grand vision, this big vision, and he's helping a ton of people. And he knows that even though he can do that anywhere and be successful, he knows that right now he's gaining so much value and so much support and love. And of course, just really making a run for it with this in the environment that he's at, it's been really, really important for him to stay. Is that right? Yeah, no, that's it. Hey, can you just check with your viewers that they can hear you properly? It's really breaking up now. Yeah, can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, give me a yes. And hi, Katie. <laughs> I don't know. You guys on the live, can you hear that? Just type in a yes or no or you got a picture of the side of my head, which is pretty cool. Lucky you guys. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys hear us? If you can, give us a yes. If you can't, well, then you wouldn't be able to. I think um, I think we're good. If you guys can hear us, just give us a yes because we're really curious. And yeah, keep, keep us accountable, guys, because we can talk all day. And if you can't hear us, what? <laughs> it's no, it's no good. Yeah, I don't want to talk to Steve if you can't hear me. Seriously. <laughs> uh, Rob can Rob can hear on the live feed. Cheers, Rob. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Katie says she can hear us. I'm sure everybody can hear us. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> maybe it's just me. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just my hearing. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so. We're not going to get into laughs and giggles. This is professional here, okay? <laughs> It's very professional. That's very, are not at all fun. Yeah, but like I say, you, you've touched on environment, and um, I, I, I'm so glad you brought that up because it it affects everything you do, and it also affects the people around you. If you are growing, say your friends and family, and sometimes it can be difficult to break away from that because you think, well, they're the people I grew up with. This is my family. They're getting like why are you doing this, why are you doing that, come back with us, stay with us, and sometimes they don't understand. Um, I know with me, with friends and all that sort of thing, like my circle of friends has totally changed, and it's not because I've said go away, go away, it's because I'm continually growing, and when I started like this, this little journey, a lot of them didn't understand. I, I still get a lot of messages and that now saying, what are you doing this for, why are you saying this, Where, what does this mean, and it's just them, because they don't understand the whole personal growth thing, it's them like reaching out and saying, no, you're growing and you're moving on. We used to hang out together. We want you to stay with us. And I'm like, no, <laughs> this is my journey. This is where I'm going. It's, it's nothing yeah. to do with you guys. And how, how do you find like now you're, you're like on this personal growth sort of journey, how do you find like with your environment, your, your friends or, or that, how, how you're moving away from them but not sort of um, totally separating from them as such? Yeah, so that's a really good question. And if, in case anyone didn't hear, he asked me, how am I making sure that my environment around me, like how am I adjusting to it given that I'm on this personal growth and development path? So if you can hear him, please let me know because we love to know so I don't have to repeat. But anyways, um, in finding this, this is something that I've always struggled with because it's been hard for me to actually connect with people, especially um, at my age who are doing what I'm doing. And I have super supportive friends, an amazing family, awesome boyfriend. Everybody is so supportive of me. So the thing is, is like you notice that when you start going on this journey and you start changing yourself, you attract different people. And like, for example, I attracted you and you attracted me as well. So that doesn't mean that we get rid of somebody else. It just means that now I'm spending more time focused on you than I am, say, somebody else who's not bettering me or I'm not serving. So, um, um, actually, Regan mentioned this to me because I was struggling and I asked her, Regan is my mindset coach and mentor to anybody who's not sure, but basically I just asked her, like, how can I find this balance? Because I don't necessarily want to get rid of people in my life because even though they're not on the same path to success and helping the world, like I am necessarily in right this moment, even though I know they will be, they still generate some sort of value in my life, be it having fun, being there for me, listening, caring, just like letting loose sometimes and letting loose in terms of like appropriate ways. And 
she said, you know, just because they're not on the same path as you doesn't mean you get rid of them. It just means that you start attracting other people and soon enough, <laughs> filtering out without necessarily being kicked out. It's, it's more so your time is in someone else's hands. Yeah. What do you, yeah, are you, do you, did you experience the same thing at all when you left? I, I've, I've experienced um, very similar things, but because a lot of my friends are very, um, oh, what would you say at the start? They're very, oh, how would you say? They, they don't understand the whole growth thing, um, especially from where I've come from, what I've been in. They're, they're in that, that sort of cycle that's the same over and over again. And, and it's actually like part of my mission to be able to show them that there are different ways that they can break away from that. Um, and at the start, when I started this, I was, I was literally, or you could say verbal vomiting all over them, all the info I was learning to really want to push them to get out of that. And it was the wrong way to go about it. Um, and it was a great lesson for me to learn. Instead, like you said, instead of saying or disconnecting from altogether, I'll say, you're out, you're out of my life or whatever. I, that's the sort of attitude I had at the start. It's like, I'm doing this. If you're not coming with me, go away. Instead of just working on myself, growing, growing, and they see what I'm doing, yes, they're going to be saying, no, what are you doing? Come back, come back. But then they'll see, and then they will say, all right, there's something in this. This is this is really cool what's going on here. Look look what he's doing. And that, that's it. I'm at that point now, and they're the sorts of people are coming back to me now that are saying, oh, this is awesome. We didn't understand this at the start, but now we see what's going on here. All right, we want to know what, what's, what are you doing? And um, that's, that's pretty cool. But I had to learn that lesson at the start instead of forcing it down people saying, this is amazing, my life's changing because of this, this, and this. Now it's like, look at what I'm doing. If you want to come for the ride, let's rock. Yeah, I love it. You're showing them and, and they're learning from or you're being an example instead of just like saying, hey, do this, this, this. It's just like when parents or teachers or friends or something tell you something to do and you're all of a sudden you're like, I don't want to do it just because you're telling me like, like I got to change everything. It's like when you show people that you realize it's like your journey is powerful and sharing your message is powerful. And I know, you know, both of us have been through quite a lot and that helps our story to, you know, reach out to these people who aren't feeling that comfortable with it because we have the answers. We know how we accomplish in our own time, how we are in the struggles. So to be there for them is way more important than to say, hey, get out, you know, because we can look at it from the side of, I'm here to help you. I'm here to be here for you. And my main mission in life is literally to help you feel better. And so I'm curious because, and I think maybe some viewers are curious, curious based on some of the things that I've shared about you. But of course, we know that you are Steve Max better way, and I love that because you're totally giving that to people. So, what exactly is that? Can you explain it? You're breaking up a fair bit there, but I think I got the gist of that. Um, I'm just going to check in with my live because I'm getting a couple of things there. How are you guys going there? Can you, can you hear Celeste at all? I know you can hear me, but you want to be able to hear Celeste too. He's the important one. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Give a and, uh, thumbs up if you can hear us and hear yeah. Steve, okay? You can hear Rob. Rob's all over it. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure you're asking about Steve Max Better Way, which is what, what I am so passionate about. And it's, uh, am I correct? That's what you're asking about, yeah? Yeah. I'm absolutely yeah, asking about that. Like I, I created my tribe um, to, sh to give people an insight in all the steps I've taken to move forward. I, I've even over the last few weeks been at a few retreats, um, personal development retreats, um, one for men, which is with Team Beast Mode International, which is what I come through not so long ago. And it's been uh, absolutely life-changing, seriously. And like I say, my, my, my tribe goes into that. Um, and it's men and women too, and because I want to show other people like, yes, I'm right into the men's personal development. Yes, I've been through the intense program myself to, to be able to grow myself and to break away some self-limiting beliefs and, and a lot of stuff from my past. But in, in bringing my better way, it's a, it's a combination of that and all my life lessons I've learned along the way. And now that I've, I've learned a lot of these new, new strategies, let's say, and a lot of these, um, oh, what would you say, how... 
how I can deal with situations a lot better. I look back at my past and I take people back to the, my past and all the, the ridiculously silly things I've done and all the, the bad decisions I've done. And, and then I, I take people through how I could, I could have learned a lesson out of that at the time, but I never did. But now I look at it and I say, oh, the lesson from this was you should have handled it this way. And um, I, I do that a lot. And like I say, through Steve Max Better Way, and, and it leads in also with that, I pass on all my tools and strategies in my in my personal coaching, um, and that is something I've become really passionate about. It's something I never thought I'd do, but to to get that feeling of fulfilment to help someone with like my last few days, I've been on a lot of calls with guys, and I know at the end of them they've been like, oh, "I never knew I could do that. I never knew that." It's like like two calls yesterday. The guys at the end of it, they're like. Oh my God, what, what is that? And it's just because of the life lessons I've learned and there's some simple things that you can do that I've learned along the way and I've learned recently that can just totally change your perspective on situations or how you're going to handle a situation. And like I say, that's why, that's why I have created the services I have because oh, there's so many better ways to deal with all our struggles in life instead of just going through the motions over and over. So I'm glad you asked that because that takes up a lot of my time now because... Like I say, it's something I'm passionate about too. And we touched on balance before. Um, and that's one part of my life that's created balance because I asked a question, I don't know about you guys out there on the live or anyone that's watching yours, if you ask them what their life purpose is. And you'll get a lot of donuts, I reckon, because a lot of people don't think about that. A lot of people don't really take a step back and say, well, what is my life purpose? Why am I here? People are just going around in circles existing. Um, that was me for so long, but to be able to now work on myself, grow myself and realize that I have so much to offer in terms of my life experiences and, and teaching people different ways to deal with situations or be it, be it improving their health or be it improving their family life or be it, like I say, discovering their life purpose the same way I did it. Um, and that's very powerful for me to have that one missing link in getting balance to go forward. So... That's been huge for me. I don't know about yourself. Like, I, I believe you're on exactly the same path. That's one thing you are very clear on, and your message is very clear in regards to that. So I'd love you to touch on, on what, how important that is to you and also helping other people with whatever, be it, like I say, you're right in your health and fitness, but you, you know that it's all linked. The whole balance is linked. It's right across the board. And... Um, to everybody watching my live feed, I want you to think about what we asked you. Think about, do you consider what your life purpose is? Do you consider why you're here? Think about those questions. Ask yourself them daily. And then something Steve mentioned in a video, I don't know which video, I watched a few of his, but basically he asked, like, how do you inspire people? And that can really lead you to find your life's purpose. So um, to answer your question now, I just want to say my whole philosophy, of course, is about building more than just a body. And play a huge role in it because health in general can't be accomplished without believing that it can <laughs> and having the value in yourself to make it happen. So my clients and a lot of people that I just talk to daily that a big thing that's missing and a big link that's missing is the why. And that relates exactly to what you're saying. What is your purpose? And so I ask, what is your purpose in achieving this goal? What will this give you? What is this going to do for your life? Because a lot of times, health, not even a lot of times, every single time, our health reflects on our job, on our work, on our family, on our relationships, on our own mental health. It affects everything. And that's why I always like to go into detail on the actual dimensions of wellness because there's so many products, there's so many services out there in the fitness industry that are like, and yeah, we can give you wellness. But it's like, no, you're not even touching on what wellness is. Wellness is not eating healthy and going to the gym. Wellness touches on all aspects like you talked about in your life. There's different building blocks. So it's like intellectual, there's um, occupational, spiritual, there is literally physical everything. So go check it out on my page if you don't know what the actual dimensions of wellness are to anybody who's listening. But definitely paying attention to what it is you want from your fitness journey that will bring you more than just a body. Because 
it's not going to come down to how good your body looks because there's a lot of people out there who have awesome bodies but you'd be surprised at how much they're actually lacking. Like if you did, if you ran a blood test, I guarantee there could be something seriously missing. Not everybody, but there could be things missing: macronutrients, micromolecules, things that they don't have. Iron. Like personally, on the start of my fitness journey, I was iron deficient. I didn't know this until I had to get blood drawn for other reasons. But they're like, "Yeah, you're iron deficient." And I was like, "Great, that explains why I've been so fatigued. That explains why I've been feeling the way I've been feeling." So. Health is so much more than just looking good. You have to make sure you're on the right plan, you have the right supplements, you have the right exercise routine, and most importantly, you have the right why. And you're coming from a place of self-love, not a place of self-hate. Yeah, and it's cool that you brought that up too, the last part, about coming from a place of self-love instead of self-hate. And a little example I could use, like I'm right into my training, my fitness and all that, and it was a big reason how I, I broke away from my past life where I wasn't healthy and I wasn't happy with myself, but I still went on training out, out of anger from not liking myself. That was my drive. And what happened was I actually got burnt out from that and didn't enjoy it a lot. There were so many times where I'm like, why aren't I enjoying this? Even though, yes, I was getting a bit fitter, because I was coming from a place of self-hatred, I was always putting myself down. I'm like, you've got to improve because of this reason. You stuffed up this. It, it's totally different when you turn that around and come from like, like, you love yourself. You love your body. You're you're in this because you love doing it. And like I say, the the energy you gain from that, or even what you get out of it, that's where the enjoyment comes from. Like I used to go, like I say, I used to get into a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And my first thing was like, you dickhead, you idiot, you stupid idiot. And then I'd go train so hard, and then at the end of it, I'd just be like, there, with no no enjoyment out of it and no fulfillment out of it. And like I say, to turn that around and to be able to work on that alone um, in regards to my fitness, that's made so much difference in I mean, not only how I train and like I look at fitness and how I, I look at myself, but it, it impacts right across the board on how you are around people, on how how you present yourself or how you feel yourself, like feel yourself like um, just around. It's, um, it's just totally different. That's been huge for me to even learn that. And I've learned that by by just living it. And that's sometimes people don't get to live that part. Some people just get stuck in the, yeah, I'm training. Like you said before, that people might have that awesome body, but there might be something missing that's that's stopping them from being their true authentic self. And it could be because they're coming from that place where, where they are, are harsh on themselves or they're, they're on this mission and really they don't love themselves. I see it a lot, especially with men. Like men, like they'll, um, they'll be in the gym, but they've just got – this massive ego because they are coming from a place. They're missing something. Um, and you can tell that. That's the thing. You can see that in people. So, no, that, that's been a huge lesson for me to live. Like like most of the stuff that I've, I've lived through, it's, it's awesome to live through them, even though I wish I hadn't <laughs> some of them. But it gives me, like, experience to, to talk to people about that. Yeah, no, I love what you said. And it actually got me thinking about something. You mentioned that you would come at yourself after making um, a choice or a decision and you'd be like, you idiot, you dickhead. And that made me think, you know what? A big part of this also is in self-love, we can start addressing others from a place of self-love. And when you said that, it hit me like, you know what? Some people talk to their friends, their significant others, or just people walking around the street. Like, you idiot, you dickhead, you're stupid. And that's a place of judgment, and it's so stupid because all that does is put more on yourself. And it kind of goes back to what you said on our first part, which was when you call people out on things, you're only just calling yourself out on those things. And um, another piece that you mentioned was when you shifted from this place, it was more enjoyable because when you were coming from a place of hatred, it wasn't enjoyable. And I can speak to that as well because when I started my journey, I was super motivated, of course. I've always been a very motivated person. I won't hide that. But the thing that was lacking was I was super depressed, anxious. I just had like all these body image issues. I allowed that to get in the way of me actually achieving the exact goals that I wanted. And because of this, I would go on I would go on little ruts where I would feel really, really good about my body and then I would feel really, really bad. And then 
And then I, I never, I never, literally never until I started really getting into lifting actual weight. Um, then I look at my body for what it gave me. I was just looking at my body as an, as an aesthetic image. And how sad is that? That is just not at all what our bodies are capable of. Yeah, I'm motivated by aesthetics and gaining more aesthetics. And I'm, a, I'm a competitor, so you, you kind of have to be. Um, but also, like, I was competing with myself before that, too. However, you can still go for aesthetic goals. You can still have a nice body, but coming from a place where you're building more than that. So you're building your mindset, your personal development, like you always touch on, and that's what you preach and you practice and you teach people. So how would you tell somebody who maybe comes to you who is, you know, into fitness, but you can tell they have an ego? And let's say that they own up to it, and they're like, Steve, I don't understand what's happening. I'm not seeing the goals I want because I'm just not happy with where I'm at now. I'm not happy with the results that I've been seeing. I know my body's great, but something's missing. How would you help them to find that? I, I, I look at it. Oh, you're talking. You cut out, cut out. <laughs> you there? What did you What did you say? We're breaking up a little bit. Oh, it's just on delay. That's okay. It's got yeah. oh. after you talk. <laughs> what did you say? Your mouth's moving 10 seconds after you talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. It's definitely uh, lagging. On yeah, the... that's cool. Um, now, how would I... I got that. How would I, like, pinpoint that? We, you go through like before, so their health, and they might be there about... They might have a heap of money, they might have a good job or whatever, but if there's other areas in their life that are suffering and going to how they are with their body or feel like there's something like I touched on before, you can have the ideal body, what you want. But if you're not happy inside, if you haven't got that self-love or there's something missing in your life, like your relationships mightn't be working. Like I say, you mightn't be making the money you want. It's all interlinked. And you mightn't have a life purpose. You might be just like, like I say, that's your one thing. And you've really got to identify where that is. Like, you ask certain questions, and you've got to fill them gaps in. And that's the thing. Some people don't see that. Um, and that's why I love what I'm doing, to talk to people and identify what they are missing out on and, and to actually see that little, uh, uh, oh, I never looked at it that way. That that one little thing can make all the difference. And um, like I say, especially with men, a lot of men are fit and healthy themselves but if you want to hold a conversation with them they just they can't look you in the eyes that's how I used to be it's because they don't there's something they're missing there they don't they don't love themselves as much as they could or what I say with relationships that's a big one a lot of men look after themselves in fitness and all that but their relationships suffer because they feel like they have to have this perfect body to have the perfect relationship but in turn it's so much more than that there's They've got to work on a lot more. And that's why what you're doing is awesome with building more than just a body because I believe a, a lot of people have got it backwards. They get into fitness, they get into that, but they don't work on their mindset. They don't work, on, right. they don't work on their spirituality, which I'm not a religious person. Um, but for me, just, that's just being at peace with yourself and working on yourself. And that's the way I see spirituality. Like, that's a big part of what has changed me and it comes back to self-love as well like just being present with yourself sometimes 95 percent of the population don't do that they they just do they, they feel that time where they should be working on themselves or just being with themselves and maybe having an empty out and just asking themselves some honest questions instead they'll fill that time with watching tv or or hanging around negative people listening to negative people and what happens then that they, they aren't where they want to be. And like I say, that's why I actually love what I'm doing at the moment because to be able to help people see that, it's, um, that's, that's where I get fulfillment and it's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And I like that you touched on the fact that not a lot of people are spending enough time looking inside themselves because that's huge in all areas of life. And of course, you know that and I know that. And when you can reflect on where you're at and being honest with yourself is a huge part of that. Because like you said, you might be fit, healthy, you might have wealth, 
you might have money, you might have everything, and then you could be lacking in an area. Maybe it's your relationships, or maybe it's with your family or, or your passion, whatever it could be, and that's a problem because then you don't have the balance and something's always going to be out of whack. But if you can be honest with yourself about it, then you're able to address it. But then the key, of course, is addressing it because then you can stand all day, you know, looking looking at yourself, being honest with yourself, and then it comes down to, okay, well, how can I change? And a lot of times that comes to seeking a coach, seeking a mentor, and huge deal because if you don't invest in yourself and you're basically accepting the value that you're currently at as enough, you're accepting that how you feel is okay, you're accepting that this is the life that you're supposed to live and it's okay to live this way because that's what you deserve when deep down inside your body, your mind is screaming at you like, help me, help me, like something's out of whack and I need someone to guide me. And that's exactly why you need to reach out to people like yourself who work on mindset who take you in and literally show you a better way. So that's perfect. So I'm glad, you know, we both, like, I'm building one than just a body for people. You're showing people a better way in all aspects of life. And it's just awesome. And so I don't know why I'm holding rug band, but actually I do know why. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're doing, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways, so... Yeah, look within, be honest with yourself, and then take action. And if you think you don't have money, if you don't think you have time, you're lying to yourself, these are stories in your head, because saying you don't have money is saying that you're living a life where you're always going to be in the position you're in, you're never going to have the abundance, you're never going to have the next paycheck, because you just believe that this is how your life's always going to be, this is what you deserve, when in reality, you invest in yourself, your value increases, you feel better about yourself, you gain knowledge that lasts a lifetime, and there you have it, that 5000 10000 whatever amount of money you end up investing in yourself pays off tenfold, no matter what investment it is. Yeah, I'm glad you touched on that too, because that's a lot of people, they don't value themselves highly enough. Um, and when it comes to investing in themselves, they would rather, how can I put this? I, I ask people, where would they be in 10 years if they kept living the life they are now? And not yeah, yes, too. yeah, not invest in themselves. And people don't think of that because they think, oh, investing, investing in something to do with money, to do with the house, or they, they'll, they'll spend it on something else which is superficial or won't get them where they want to be. People don't think personal. When they think about where they're going to be in 10 years, they think about what they'll have, not how they'll be. And asking the question, mm -hmm. if they didn't have or well, they didn't take these steps now or work on themselves now, what would they be missing out on? What, what would that feel like if they were still in the same spot? And no one likes that feeling. So everything we do is for a feeling. So you ask them if they did invest in themselves, if they did grow, if this abundance did come into their life, how would that feel? And that's where you get all the aha moments from people. They're like, well, I've never thought about it that way because like I say, everything we do in life is for a feeling. So you invest in yourself and you're going to grow and you're going to feel awesome about yourself and everything you're doing and it create new things as you roll, that feeling you get as you get along, it's, that's what you, 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 you go with. That's, that's what we're doing now. That's why we love what we're doing because I never used to ask myself them questions. Like if you had asked me, like I was lost, I was stuck, I would go like, I'd ask him about money advice. But he's he's not in a position I want to be in like thirty years. It's like it's like asking advice from someone at the pub about work. Why would you do that? That's, and that's why I'm glad you touched on a coach because I've spoken about this. I, I did a live feed the other day talking about how you can take these steps if you are stuck in life. If there is something missing, you got to reach out to someone who's been there and got through it, not someone who is around you in your environment that, that doesn't understand what you're doing that doesn't want you to grow. You've got to reach out to the people that have taken them steps. And that's why I, I just dived all into the personal development. I've made everything happen because I know I'm around the right people who have, have laid the tracks out for me. They're, they've got all these missing gaps or they've been through these plateaus that I've been hitting. I've hit for years and years and never reached out until recently. So I'm glad you touched on that. And any investment in yourself, especially mindset and things like that, it will come back tenfold, twentyfold, 
even it's limitless. Exactly. That's the thing. It is limitless. So I think on that, I reckon we could talk for hours, eh? But on that, yeah. I know you're really rocking and rolling with with your brand, with your building more than just a body. What what have you got for the people out there? So for anybody out there who's listening or tuning in later or just checking in on this, I want you guys to know, first of all, that any place, any type of journey you start, be with Steve, be it with in your health and fitness, always come from a place of self-love. And if you don't understand what that means, then you definitely need to find that within and ask for help and reach out. So what I have to offer is exactly that. Plus, of course, I always go into actual fitness plans, meal plans, and I have tons and tons of stuff to offer in terms of mindset work around fitness. So I only, of course, offer this to a select number of people per month because it can be extremely, extremely difficult to balance everybody when I'm trying to give 110% to everyone. So to the first three people to reach out to me, I will definitely, you know what, just message me. The first three people to message me and say, hey, I need your help. I'll get on a call and I'll see if you're the right fit for my program and if I'm the right fit for you and we'll address your issues with self-love, your issues with building the body that you want, and your issues around the body that you currently have so that you can create a lifestyle rather than a quick fad diet or a quick fix because what I teach you is going to last you forever. This is something that you invest in. This is not an expense. This is an investment. You're investing in yourself for the rest of your life. So the first three people to message me say, hey, <laughs> and so on that note, Steve, what do you have to offer to the world? Because you, my man, have so much value. Ha, ha, ha. Now, what, what have I got? Like, see, what I'm passionate about is showing people a better way, and that's why I've created Steve Max Better Way. Um, since you've opened it up for three people, I'm going to have to do the same. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open up free one-on-one calls with me, free coaching calls. Yes, three, that's the magic number. Um, because I find it important, like I touched on earlier, about finding people's life purpose, the way I've done it. Um, also, to, to, to pinpoint areas people are not struggling with, that they need that step to see how they can create balance. And like I say, there's so many better ways to get out of terrible situations in life like I've done. Um, Especially, I, I, I am passionate about working with people who have got through a lot of situations, like be it with drugs or alcohol or hard times, but they've got through that. They're at a point now, they're like, what's next? What, what, what do I do, like I say, to fill that gap, to break that plateau, to move forward? So these three one-on-one sessions for me, um, put a comment down below on the live feed or hit me up, PM me. Um, I'll be more than happy to, to book in a call with you guys because... Uh, this, like I say, this is what I love. This is my life purpose, and to be able to to share how I've been able to to create balance in life, that's what I'll be able to share with people. So three, three. There's only three. I offered ten the other day, and then went like that. But half an hour calls, um, and you're right. And yeah, where you want to go, and and really, really dig in and find out what you want to be or where you want to go in life. So that's for me. Awesome. So we're both offering three people. So the first three people for him, you got to go comment below. If you want to talk to see, you can comment on mine too, and I'll send it over to him. But three people were each offering coaching calls. So he focuses a lot on what you just heard, personal development, finding your true passion, and breaking past plateaus. And I'm going to focus all about self-love around fitness, building more than just a body. So Steve has the better way, and... I have the building more than just a body. Make sure to join both groups and reach out to us because we're only taking three people. So he's taking three, I'm taking three. We just all wanted to share our message. So Steve, thank you so much for coming on for a second time. And I'm glad we got to have this energy exchange and share it with the world. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I always do. Yeah. No, thank you, Celeste. This has been awesome. I'm going to bang the links down below for your, your page, your tribe's page and mine too. So people jump in and have a look. Um, we usually just invite people, but since you guys, are, I think you, I know you just want to check it out. So I'll bang the links down there below and yeah, check it out and hit us up. No worries. This has been awesome. Um, next time, there's going to be a part three for sure, and we we might even go deeper. But 
I, I love this. This is awesome. Thank you, Celeste. And um, I will talk to you soon. And thank you, everyone, who jumped on the live feed and everyone else. Yes, absolutely. And if you guys have any questions, you can reach out to us personally. And we would love to point you in the right direction. And I can introduce you to Steve. He can introduce you to me. And we'd be happy to help you. So get on it. We're looking forward to chatting with you. And we are so excited for you because I know people are already messaging me. And I know people are messaging Steve. So I'm really excited for you guys. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone.